Something that bothers me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm gonna just be honest, it does. Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But that bothers, that bothers me. me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm gonna just be honest, it does. Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But that that's bothers just me. me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm gonna just be honest, it does. Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But that that that's just me. me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm going to just be honest, it does. Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But that's just me. This is the book of Psalms 137, starting off at verse 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Call Hulayallah, Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekat, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Psalms 137, starting off at verse 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. And you know that same spirit that these Edomites have had in the past days, they still have until this day, man. Okay, as it states in the, in the book of uh, Amos chapter one, they have a perpetual hatred, man. Okay, just like they wanted to see our foundation erased, they also want to see us erased, man. Okay, and they have continued to show us no mercy, no empathy, no sympathy, no remorse, uh, no pity, no anything, man. And you know, the, the clip that you just uh, saw before, you know, the lesson started is the type of spirit you Israelites should be in, man. You know, to, to, to want to have, uh, uh, you know, basically clear and cut and to the point revenge man but you know we we are going to get our get back we're going to you know receive you know uh justification for everything that's been done to us man because everything that's been done to us it's like it done to us was brought by our heavenly father yahweh shimmy hawashai man okay so yahweh shimmy hawashai is definitely going to remember these edomites these other heathens that have brought these things upon us man that have again shown us no mercy, no sympathy, uh, no uh, empathy, no anything, man. Okay, and you know we're always told in this captivity, in this society, to forget. You know, that was you know a hundred years ago. Forget that and leave it alone. Why are you you know dwelling on that, etc. But what does the Bible say? As we just read, remember, remember. Oh Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, the children of Edom, which is the so-called self-proclaimed white race. But what is the, what else does the Bible say about what we go through in our history, man? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter thirty-two, and I'm gonna read verse seven. Remember, okay, remember. It doesn't say forget. It doesn't say just forgive and move on. Remember the days of old. So remember all the affliction, all the hell. All the torture, all the torments we went through, and all everything that we continue to go through, man. Because again, Salakia. Because again, they have not released their feet from off of our necks, man. Okay? They continue to apply pressure every single day, man. Deuteronomy 32, verse 7. Remember the days of old. Consider 
the years of many generations, of many generations that we have continuously got our asses whooped by these heathen, and especially by these Edomites, who again made the affliction worse, you know, stole our identity, okay? Did so many brutal and horrific and grievous things to us, man. So you you damn right. The spirit that that sister's in is the correct spirit to be in. But she needs the answers to comfort her and to give her intelligence of what is going to be brought forth and what is going to happen. And also why we have went through the things that we have gone through and why we continue to go through the things that we go through. Okay. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and he will shew thee thy elders and they will tell thee and the father has risen up the prophets of old and uh, uh, breathed that life back into him it's like into them for us to, to, to receive those answers for us to be reminded and for us to have comfort in these scriptures and, and, and for us to have hope okay but let's continue Let's go to the book of Luke. Okay, because, you know, the, the sister, you know, she's right, but she needs to be educated on uh, uh, our heritage, our culture. You know, she needs to be educated on that we will receive, uh, you know, uh, 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 vengeance. This is the book of Luke, chapter 18, starting off at verse 7. And shall not the Most High avenge? Okay, so we're going to get vengeance back, man. Okay? But the only ones that's crying out for that vengeance is the uh, the elect, which we hope and pray to be. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? And we know, again, uh, uh, sending up a prayer, sending up supplication, showing of uh, remorse, you know, showing, showing that you want to seek forgiveness and it's also having a conversation with our heavenly father and his uh, uh first begotten son our lord and savior our big brother okay showing that we you know we uh, are begging for uh salvation we're begging for protection we're begging to be uh taken out of this hell hole and for this place to be cast down man okay and we do that not only by praying and showing forth our repentance but also by you know, uh, conducting ourselves in the way that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai intended us to do so. You know, applying these scriptures to our everyday life and also taking heed to the instructions, man. You know, studying, doing it. You know, doing the edification, hit, hitting the highways and the byways, being brotherly. You know, etc. And shall not the Most High avenge His own elect, which cry day and night unto Him, though He bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. So just because it hasn't happened in the time frame that we want it to happen, it does not mean it's not going to happen. It's going to happen on Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah's time. Now we have to realize and understand too that our time is different from the Heavenly Father's time, you know, which actually is slow to us. It's actually, uh, 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 it's like, I'm going to word this correctly because I don't want to say this wrong. Uh, Salakia, which actually is slow to us, is actually not on the same time pace as the Heavenly Father. Let's say it like that because I don't want to say it wrong, but yes, yeah, so Luke 18, verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And the, the, that faith is going to lie with the remnant, man. Okay, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to keep his words that we read and that we seek comfort from on an everyday basis, man. Okay, our Heavenly Father and His Son are not powers that will and shall lie, man. Okay? Point blank, period, man. So let's jump to the book of Baruch. Let's go to the book of Baruch, chapter 4. Uh, I'm going to start off at verse... Start off at verse 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. So, you know, as the, as the sister said, in the, uh, you know, we didn't get our get back for slavery. So every nation has seen 
you know, the uh, the conditions that we have gone through and what we continue to go through. And they see, you know, how we're treated and everything else, man. There's, they see that there's no mercy upon the so-called black, Native American and Latino Hispanic community, man, which are the true biblical Israelites, man. They, they see that the way that we're treated and how we're, uh, you know, regarded. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power. So they're going to see our salvation, our redemption from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. And, you know, we read about it, you know, the chariots, you know, beaming us up, you know, Adawan Ratiza, that we are of that number. The chariots beaming up the elect, you know, all the hell that's going to be upon the earth and the Lord protecting them, guiding them, uh, you know, giving them comfort, have given them a merry heart, you know, shelter, food, etc. You know, and as it says in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, you know, they're going to be shocked and amazed at our salvation. That's why, you know, it's, it's referring to this again. Verse 25, my children suffer patiently. And it's, it's beautiful because that word patience goes into suffer. So we have to patiently suffer what we're going through because at the end of the day, it's improving us. OK, it's, it's increasing our hope, our faith, our trust, our belief, and most of all, our fear towards Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. OK. You know, and it also takes away uh, the demon of doubt, the demon of uh, uh, questioning, our, questioning our Heavenly Father and not, uh, you know, bucking up against his will, his pleasure. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thine enemy have persecuted thee. And that's what they continue to do. They continue to persecute us. Okay. And not only physically, but also through that pen. And that pen, you know, bringing forth unrighteous decrees. All the nonsense they have done. That's mainly to keep us at the bottom. To keep us uh, to not prosper. To elevate in this captivity. Okay. They persecute us in every single way, man. You know, we see it. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and we're going to see the destruction of our enemies. That's going to be a very beautiful sight for our eyes. I don't want to rock this out myself and you beloved truth and sincere Aki and what Aqua get to see it, man. Because they have saw our, 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 our destruction, our demise. So it, it would only be right to see theirs. And that and shall tread upon his neck. Okay. Just like they, again, apply pressure upon our necks, we're going to do so continuously, aggressively, fiercely. And we ain't going to show not a drop, not a smidget, not a pinch of fucking mercy, man. Okay? But let's continue. Let's jump to the book of Revelation. Because, you know, we're not the only ones complaining. You know, the the, the souls of the, uh, of the righteous... That are seeking the Lord daily. We're not the only ones complaining here on this earth. You have people in the spiritual realm complaining too. Revelation chapter 6. Starting off at verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal. I saw under the altar of the souls of them that were slain for the word of the most high. And for the testimony which they held. Because you know speaking this truth. Speaking these words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's uh, considered to be a uh, 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 terrorism to society because it's righteousness. It's, it's, it's what it's, it's what needs to be amongst the earth. It's, it's what needs to be uh, uh, taken held of and uh, uh, proclaimed and acknowledged, man. Righteous order, righteous judgment, righteous laws. OK, so we're the enemies, not only of our own people, but of everybody else, because everybody else is completely, completely and utterly against Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, holy and true, does thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? So just like the sister is in the spirit that we didn't get our get back, we should be whooping their ass. 
You have the spirits that's up there with the Heavenly Father crying out probably daily, probably every second, like, Father, when are we going to get avenged? When are you going to, you know, avenge our blood? When are you going to, you know, take these people down, etc., man? Verse 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until the fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And that's talking about, you know, the ones that are going to be beheaded in this truth. The ones that's going to have to, you know, uh, basically um, be sacrificed for this truth. But, you know, as it says in the scriptures in Revelation and also in uh, uh, First Thessalonians, I want to say, but in Revelation it says that works do follow them. And it says in First Thessalonians, those that sleep in, in, in the Lord shall arise first and come back with the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. And then we'll meet them up in the clouds, man. You know, in the chariots. Okay, but this is also something that the Lord said uh, in 2nd Edges chapter 15. Let's grab that real quick. This goes perfectly with... Uh, Revelation 6 to, uh, chapter 6 verses 9 to 11. Uh, this is 2nd Edris chapter 15 starting off at verse 7. Therefore, saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they have profanely commit, so like it, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood complaineth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continuously. Now that's talking about what we just read in Revelation 6, uh, uh, verses 9 to 11, but not only, again, in the spiritual realm, but us also here in the earth. And it's, gonna, it's, it's going to confirm what I'm saying. Continuing on. And therefore, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I will assuredly avenge them. Okay, and again, those in the spiritual realm and those here, because we're going through hell too, you know, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay, now here's the point to prove for those in the uh, on earth right now. Okay, because mainly a lot of this stuff is being talking about those in the spiritual realm, but it's also reflecting upon us too, because we're complaining too daily. Okay, behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Okay, every single day, you know, you got the two thirds, you know, again, cleaving on to the customs and philosophies of this world. And they're just being against, as we always say, you, you, you're living in darkness. You're being, you're being led to your demise, your destruction. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So this is the second exodus that's being spoken about. And this is the Lord basically saying he's not going to hold his tongue on those that the blood was shed. It's in the spiritual realm crying out to him and to those that are suffering right now and going through the hellish conditions and the afflictions upon the earth that are his servants, his, his remnant, his elect. Okay, uh, uh, the 144,000 men, women and children. Okay. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. So we're going to get vengeance. We're going to get our get back. We're going to get payback. The big payback, as they say, man. OK, let's continue on. I got a few more scriptures I want to read. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. And this is what the sister needs to know. If she, if she knew this, she would be comfort. She would have a lot of comfort if she knew this, man. And if it was broken down to her correctly, she would have comfort, man. She would understand uh, who we are, how special we are to the Heavenly Father. And you know, I don't want Rock Desire, repent and come back to your heritage. Jeremiah chapter 30, starting off verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be the devoured and all these nations have devoured us but especially the so-called self-proclaimed white race they continue to devour us and they, they don't they don't you know show again no mercy they don't they don't they they apply as much pressure as possible again they apply as much pressure as possible 
and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. So we went to bondage. We went to uh, slavery. So it's only right that y'all go into slavery, as you see in the picture. Okay. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. All nations have had a hand in us being spoiled, us being in, in, in this condition. So it's going to go, it's going to happen to you double. And all thy, it's like, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So the Lord is going to give all these nations into our hand. Okay, so the spirit that, that this sister is in is the correct spirit. Verse 17, for I, okay, for Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will restore health unto thee. Because our nation is sick. Okay, our nation is mentally physically and spiritually sick okay all across the whole board man nobody else needs no help nobody else needs help but you so-called blacks uh, uh latinos native american and Seminole indians nobody needs help but us man for i will restore health unto thee and i will heal thee of thy wounds Say of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. And these nations know who we are. You, you Israelites just don't know who you are. And the Lord's gonna, you know, heal our wounds. He's gonna, you know, heal our scars. He's gonna cleanse us, man. Okay? We're gonna be brought back to life, brought back to health, man. All, all thy people shall be righteous, as, as it says in the scriptures, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay, and, and the only the only time that these people seek us is for what? Entertainment. Or to, you know, it's like you work for them. Because our people are the strongest people or the, the smartest people. So they only seek us for entertainment, sports, comedy, uh, uh, to do some bullshit ass uh, 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 acting in movies. Okay, and also to work for them at they uh, uh plantation jobs, man, whatever it may be. Okay, whether whether it's physical work or, or mental work. All right. Let's grab these last two precepts. Cause the Lord's gonna we're gonna get vengeance, man. We're gonna get vengeance. We ain't you ain't gotta you know the sister, she ain't gotta worry about it. We're gonna get vengeance, man. Second Thessalonians chapter one, starting off at verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High. So it's a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And do, do not these red silverback cave gorillas trouble us? Yes. Okay. Yes, they trouble us. We're, we're, we're the target. Okay. Their eyes are always on us. We're the problem. Okay. Because they want to X us out so they can... I don't want to rock his eyes, they feel, to get that birthright back. But guess what? It's not going to happen. Verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. And the only ones that are really troubled, the only ones that are really hating the, the, the conversation of, of the wicked and is vexed with it, is the ones that have, have been awoken uh, 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 of, the, uh, of the elect, man. Again, which we hope and pray to be, because we know what the hell is going on. We know the plan. We know the agenda. You know, it, it, it afflicts and, 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 it, and, it, and it bothers our spirit so damn much to be amongst this shit, man. It's, it's, it's a complete fucking nightmare every day to, to be out in the world, to even st to just step out your house, man. It's, it's a fucking nightmare, man. Because when you're in your house, you can control what you see. You can control what you consume mentally. Okay, which should be mostly spiritual things. Of course, you know, sometimes you got to give your brain a, a rest, but... And also, we got to be balanced. Okay? But continuing on. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the Heavenly Father to uh, uh, send his son to, uh, you know, give us that salvation, man. We're waiting for the Heavenly Father, man, to, you know, to uh, destroy this place. But you know, just to prove to the sister that, that made that uh that video, we're gonna get our hands dirty too. So we'll close out with this. This is a classic, but all, all always a goodie. Ezekiel 25, starting off at verse 12, self self-explanatory. 
Thus saith Yahweh Power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Power, and that revenge, Salaki, that revenge was everything that was done from King David and from the Dark Ages, you know, because when King David was in a you know, down to Solomon was in rulership. You know, we had these uh, uh, these red silverbacks in captivity. You know, they, they they couldn't do nothing against us. And you know, also in the Maccabees, you know, it was it was stuff going on left and right. You know, that they was involved in that that you know the the Lord uh, basically you know did what he did. And again, also too in the, in the in the so-called dark ages, man. You know, that, that's the time when I believe that uh, we ran into the. Uh, Caucasus mountains of uh, Russia, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. Okay, and that's that's the real biblical nationality of these so-called self-proclaimed white people, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword because again you got to think everything that they have gained everything that they have conquered and has been placed in their hands they took by bloodshed so it's only right and balanced that they fall by bloodshed that they fall by the sword why do you think Yahweh Shah Hamashiach said those that live by the sword shall die by the sword man come on man let's go and I will lay my vengeance. Okay, so the Lord is going to put his fury, his anger, his perpetual anger, his vengeance. Okay, his 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 uh, his uh, level of, of him being pissed upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So he's going to put his spirit upon us to 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 bring forth the uh, the results, the uh, the actions, the deeds, the put in the work. Okay. By the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, say if you have a power. Because we also we got to remember too, we don't know everything to the T. The heavenly Father Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai knows everything to the T that was done to us, that has not been you know broadcast through uh, the internet through uh historical art articles and books and stuff like that they know everything okay so it's only right that the lord puts his anger his fury his wrath on in our spirit so we can so we can play out through us man and we're gonna have fun so guess what sis we gonna we gonna be whooping their ass thus saith the scriptures okay thus saith the heavenly father who created the heavens the earth the sea everything that we see thus saith the bible Okay, it's not hate speech. It's the truth. So I don't want to write this out, man. I hope and I pray that this is edifying, uplifting, and informative to the truth and say Aki and Wa So with that, I'm just gonna say Call Holayam La Albanawa Yahawa Bahashim Yahawashai Bahashim Raka Kwadash Watha Wada Yahawa Bahashim Yahawashai Bahashim Raka Kwadash for putting the spirit on me my elder apostles elder bishops elders brothers on down for doing these epistles to enlighten you to inform you to edify you and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai may the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household i don't want to write to zai until the next one so with that i'm just gonna say shalom that bothers me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm going to just be honest. It does. Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But that bothers, that bothers me. me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm going to just be honest. It does. Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But yeah, that's bothers just me. me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm going to just be honest. It does. 
Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But yeah, that bothers me every day is that we never got our get back from slavery. I'm going to just be honest. It does. Personally, I feel like instead of trying to integrate with them and being in their space so bad, we should have been beating their ass. But that's just me.